This place is run entirely by volunteers. In fact, so much so they keep they push me away. Go go do some other stuff. We we know what we're doing here. And so it's an incredible place, all volunteers. Uh, nobody that runs the community of Hope Market gets paid. Uh, they're here because they want to serve their community. <laughs> it started with three people just wanting to deliver bread to people. And now it's built into this massive market where people are able to come and get fresh veggies and fruits and milk and eggs and then also be able to uh, get a variety of other things. We get to meet people, we get to, I get to talk to the volunteers. We just have a great time on Fridays connecting with each other and connecting with our community. We fill up boxes of fruit and groceries and vegetables and uh, I deliver them to the, um, our families in the community who are at need. We have a range of going from Castle Hill right through to the Ponds, Blacktown, North Kellyville, Rouse Hill, as far out as Blacktown. Oh, uh, look great lot of thanks because it's not only just the food it's before COVID it's the companionship and the chat and I always come out for a cup of coffee <laughs> and I just spent a stint in the hospital and it was good to be able to text them for prayer and, and it just just that outside help that just that outside connection it, it's a wonderful thing you want that bag? I grew up in the Salvation Army. I'm a product of the Salvation Army. You know, I grew up in a single parent house, four kids, and the Salvation Army was a place of hope for me. It's where I went, where I needed to feel safe. Uh, after school, I also grew up in an abusive household. Um, and so the Salvation Army, I would go from school to the Salvation Army um, and stay there until they kicked me out. And so that's, that's what I want to provide for other people, is just a place of hope, a place of safety, um, and introduce them to Jesus, just like the Salvation Army introduced me to Jesus. Oh, all right. We have lots of hope for the future here. We want to be able to serve our community across the board, and we want this place to be a community hub, you know, where people just come and enjoy being here and enjoy being with each other. Thank you very much, Noah. You're welcome. That's excellent. Our church is located on a hill, and so we just, we want to be that lighthouse on the hill. We want to be that oasis in the desert where people just come and they can find peace and hope and love and uh, acceptance. <laughs>